Hello and welcome to the India Hangout and a special with Business Standard where we look at growth and inflation and what lies ahead in the Union Budget 2014. Before we do that and we've got a very exciting panel of uh, guests today, we're going to be showcasing a nationwide survey uh, trying to gauge the people's mood on what they expect from the budget and more importantly what the budget means for them. To do that, I'm going to be joined by Yashwant Deshmukh of Seawater, uh, the polling agency, also joining us on the show today, uh, Venukopal Dhut, uh, Chairman and Managing Director of the Videocon Group, Ambarish Balega, Market Analyst, Samiran Chakraborty, Managing Director, Regional Head of Research at Standard Chartered, and of course, I'm joined by my co-anchor, Ayaz Bevan. Okay, uh, so Ayaz, before we go into budget season, how does it feel? We all, uh, and we also got a match today. Good, good. Huh? As the odd man out from this uh, group of people <laughs> who talk and live and eat and drink and breathe business, uh, I think the, the, the fundamental issue is, uh, you know, to, to use that much repeated cough, uh, cough catchphrase, mm. din aenge ya nahi. Yeah. I think that's fundamentally the issue. Right. There's been a lot of expectation. Mm. I don't know how much of it is going to be met. Mm. And the, uh, the perception, the understanding of the lay person, because, you know, the nitty gritty of creating and what the budget really means, reading between the lines, is not given to everybody. Right. They just want to know whether I'll have more money in my wallet. Yeah. And, whether, whether and that's exactly less, the question we'll less. ask. And we'll also ask that question, or rather, that question whether Ache Din Aane Wale hai has been asked by uh, Yashwant, and he's going to take us through that. Who, uh, Yashwant is actually joining us, if I may uh, reveal, from Indonesia. And Amrish, before we go into it, what's a, what are we going into this with? We had a railway budget, which has already disappointed right. markets, and markets have fallen since then. What, what's the mood that we are uh, at stationed at at this point? Expectations are still very high. Hmm. I mean, we have seen the markets actually running up about 25, 26 percent in the last couple of months. Although we have corrected a bit hmm. since yesterday, hmm. but still the expectation is that uh, din is, hmm. I mean, uh, I Yeah. So we are getting all our tenses right. Absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, as long as it's yeah. not gay. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, because of which, in case there's a uh, disappointment tomorrow, hmm. we 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 could have a decent correction. Okay. And I'm looking at that because it's a tightrope walk hmm. for the finance minister. Hmm. Looking at the way the finances are, hmm. I don't think there'll be too many stops. Okay. And that's where it stands. Okay. Yashwant, uh, take us through the key findings of uh, the survey. Uh, beginning, of course, or, or rather, let me allow you to uh, take it uh, the way you want. I think, and I'm, I'm looking at all the questions, and we've also got graphics playing while you speak. Yeah, I mean, there are two major things which uh, which I take it up from this particular survey. One, first one is uh, this amazingly high level of expectation of the middle class from the union government and Narendra Modi, uh, his ship. Uh, I guess uh, to do uh, with what they have gone through in the last few years, uh, rather their quality of life and nose dive in the last few years because of the mostly because of the inflation. At the same time, um, there are big number of Indians who feel that inflation is not going to go down. Uh, almost 30 percent of them they do feel that it is going to go down, and which uh, approximately collaborates with the with the number of votes that the BJP had polled. But extremely high level, unrealistic high level of expectations, I would say, um, uh, as far as uh, Narendra Modi government is concerned. So it, it is true because uh, uh, we are dealing, and, and I'm glad that we have this uh, wonderful panel along with us because we are dealing on one hand market expectation, and other hand uh, with the consumer expectation. These are two different things, uh, I believe, but they are very much interlinked uh, 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 at the end of the day. So, uh, as far as the Indian middle class is concerned, unrealistically high level of expectation with the Modi government, and especially uh, uh, if they can tackle uh, the issue of personal taxation, because we have been this question for many years, Govind, and you, you remember that we started this series when you were at Bloomberg uh, uh, of asking the middle class how much is good enough uh, uh, for a family of four to have a decent uh, middle class living. This is a very subjective approach. But uh, again, having a middle class uh, living is a subjective approach itself because you know very well that there is no official definition. Um, uh, there are any other official definition as far as the uh, construction of middle class is concerned. Right. Okay. Uh, so, Yashwant, if I would, uh, if I, if I can just ask you a couple of questions on the on the poll. Uh, can you tell us how many people have been uh, touched in this poll and what's the geographic and demographic uh, uh, split? Okay, I think we've lost Yashwant there for a moment, but we're going to come back to uh, him. 
uh, interesting findings from the poll, uh, 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 Amrisha. How do you translate this? I mean, one interesting thing, of course, is that the expectations are still running high, right? After the elections, right. we had the entire, you know, the inflation mm -hmm. sh shock. It's not a shock because it's been high. Yes. Uh, you also had a situation where the monsoons have uh, started to play trot. So Absolutely. things have gone downhill in some ways. Uh, see, the first thing is the expectation that you'll have more money in your pocket. Mm through lower taxes, mm. I, don't, I don't think that is possible, okay. looking at the way the finances are. Mm. What I would possibly look for mm. is how does he manage this supply side issue? Mm -hmm. Because today, I don't think food gain production mm. is not an issue. Mm. Food, gain, food gain production is there. Mm. Today, we have a uh, issue with onion prices. Mm -hmm. Onion production is at high, mm. but still there is not enough in the market. Mm. And because of which the prices are going up. Right, right. The issue is supply side. Mm. And this is one of the items in the manifesto, which mm. they have said that they'll manage the supply side issue. Mm. And because of which the inflation will, 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 come, will uh, 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 come under control. Mm. I would like to see as to how much of allocation he does for this. Mm -hmm. Fine, intent could be there. Mm. But can he execute it or not? Mm. Because most of this is state subject. Mm. And they don't control all the states. Correct. So this is one big question mark which is there, mm. which I'll see as to how he manages that mm. through the budget. And can it be managed? I mean, that's the larger that's, question as well, right? That's I mean, the whatever question. you say, yes. at the end of the day, what it will be the absolutely. Will so, 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 so possibly tomorrow we could see the intent mm. execution. I think we we'll have to see it over the next couple of months. Right. I think the biggest challenge, Govind, is uh, how much of it is bluster and how much of it is possible. I think that's really the issue. What you're saying, right. how, what can be executed mm -hmm. or not. The promises that have been made have been extraordinary and they've raised actually exponentially the expectations. The expectations are very, very now, true. the intent may be good, but also you need the expertise to, to right. you know, execute and within a certain time frame because it's not an open-ended scheme. Yeah. Mm. You have to deliver within a short time. And right. the biggest problem with people is that disillusionment, this disenchantment sets in very rapidly. Absolutely. And therefore, we are living in the age of social media and instant gratification. If it doesn't happen quick enough, everybody, the disillusionment will be far more severe right. than the enchantment was. Right. So let's take, I'll take some, uh, you know, some comments that have come in. So there's one which says that we need spending to revive the economy, says uh, Ram. Uh, there's another one which says that, uh, um, sir, forget saving, we are losing our past savings, it's negative growth, right? So maybe that's where the stock market can play some role. Uh, uh, there's also another uh, comment on that's true, people take home loans to make interest uh, deductions. So basically there are a lot of comments which are coming in. Uh, Yashwant, I think we've uh, got you back or have we lost you? Okay, we've got you back. So uh, Yashwant, I was quite trying to get a quick sense on the demographic, geographic split of uh, uh, the, the sample that we've surveyed here. Okay, I think we still have a problem with Yashwant uh, uh, being as far away as he is. Uh, Amrish, let's, let's come back to what the markets, or rather if you were to look mm -hmm. more specifically now, which part of the markets could be looking uh, good and which parts would still be concerned? Now if I'm looking at sectors and stocks. Uh, sectors and stocks, uh, sector-wise, I think the high beta ones mm -hmm. are vulnerable right now. Okay. Because they are the ones which have shot up quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And there's a huge expectation mm -hmm. regarding those sectors from mm -hmm. the budget, mm -hmm. especially uh, your infra capital goods space. Mm. So that is where possibly you could have a correction. Okay. Whereas the ones uh, which have held on, mm. uh, the so-called pharma, FMCG, and mm. IT space, mm. I think that is where I don't think there'll be too much of a downside as such, and mm. that could be a place to hide. Mm. Okay. So here's another question, uh, which I don't know if Amrish, you want to try uh, answering uh, on Twitter. Ajay Markin said that BJP came to power over dismal economic performance. But it seems that the new economic survey does not show such a dismal pic or a picture. What do you feel? Uh, it is improving, no doubt. Yeah. And yes, I suppose UPA did their job hmm. in the last one year. Yeah. Or the last over to use uh, IAS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Absolutely. Some goals. laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. So I think that should pay off to a certain extent. Hmm. But I think the good work should be carried on. Hmm by the NDA mm. as promised by them. Mm. If that works out, yes, I suppose, Achhe then we should see after the next 20, 24 months. Okay. Nothing, nothing would happen overnight. Yeah. And I don't expect yeah. that. And I think that's quite clear. So, so, so is that a kind of a time frame threshold that you assign, say, 20, 24 months? Uh, you know, because yeah. 
but is, is the, is the see, see, of the people see, see the, I mean, that's, that's, that that's the th uh, threshold which you're talking about mm. but does the market have that sort of a patience i don't think so mm. they need instant gratification right. and for that they'll be looking at the budget for instant gratification if that does not happen mm. you have a crack and that crack could be anywhere Right. I mean, six percent to eight percent. Right. So, Samiran Chakraborty, uh, managing director, regional head of research for Standard Chartered Bank, joins us. Samiran, we are trying to get a sense. Uh, I mean, the larger theme, of course, is growth and inflation, but we are trying to get a sense uh, about in, in in terms of what are we going with, uh, or rather, as we go into the budget uh, uh, season, uh, which starts tomorrow uh, with the union budget. Uh, what are the key concerns, and uh, what could the budget actually do to address them? Okay, we've lost uh, this thing there. Let me put that question back to you, Ambarish. Key uh, concerns yeah. going in tomorrow, and what can the budget do? Ah, uh, see, the key concerns is going to be uh, for development. Mm. You need to spend, mm. and where does the government get the money to spend? Mm -hmm. So my feeling is that the only way government can, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, get people to spend, mm. is by giving. Uh, tax swaps. Okay. For example, the major area which 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 require funds is infrastructure. Mm. If they provide swaps mm. for investing into infra projects, mm -hmm. I suppose you'll you'll have money flowing in. Mm. It's not the question that people don't have money. So you're saying that it's it's going to come from swaps. I mean, or the expectation is that it, it has to be swaps. From... Okay. Because I mean, otherwise, why should I be investing in infra bonds if I'm not getting swaps? Mm. I'm not expecting tax cuts. Mm -hmm. But when I'm going to be investing, mm. I think I should get tax swaps to invest. Okay, I think. and and to what extent can that actually trigger some serious flows into the market? That can actually uh, trigger serious flows, no doubt, because people are sitting on liquidity. Mm. It is not that people don't have money, mm. but that intention to write out a check was not there because you didn't know as to what your returns mm. would be. Mm. So at least now, if there's going to be clarity going ahead mm -hmm. that things are improving, mm. you will have people investing, no doubt. Okay. Uh, Yashwant, I understand that you're back with us. Uh, okay, uh, you know, I, I was still trying to understand the demographic and uh, geographic uh, breakup of your uh, sample for this uh, this survey that we've done. Uh, Yashwant, uh, if you're if you're hearing me, I was trying to get a sense of the poll sample. Uh, you're also you were also trying to establish through this survey uh, how much income do people really want, and that's uh, as I understood also was a surprise to you in some ways. Can you tell us why? The answer rather. That's a surprise to us in a big way. Hmm. Uh, for for a reason that you know uh, we in the urban middle class sector, especially living in the metropolitan, we are used to see uh, uh, see the high grades, and we used to. Okay, this much is required, but there are people around who have reported as low as uh, 1500 or 2000 rupees a month as their requirement to live with the four. So, so living or, or a decent living is a very subjective uh, thing, and there are uh, purchase parity issues across India. Uh, 
the kind of lifestyle that you need to make in Delhi, just 100 kilometers down Delhi, you don't need even 25% of that money to live over the minimum basic uh, decent living to uh, for a family. So uh, it was very hard. It is always very humbling to know what the common people and, and their expectation is very low as far as their income is. But this middle class, which is ballooning now, almost 30% uh, of India, as we know, is uh, can be figured out to be a ranging middle class. And uh, and approximately, we have seen in the last couple of years, we are more coming more over somewhere between 30 to 35,000 rupees a month kind of uh, income feel is is minimum that they need to to raise a four with a with a with a with a relatively uh, decent middle class living which approximately again if you turn out to calculate per annum it's approximately 3.5 which for many of us might look like a look like a startup salary for an IT young IT professional which we feel the, as a, a, as a very low amount but the fact remains almost 80% of Indians feel in the amount is quite big, quite substantial and if they are able to earn that much they can raise their family well and this much at least they feel should be without any taxation, without any tax burden on them. That's how it links to uh, the sort of budget and what we are talking about today. Uh, Mr. Venkopal Dhut joins us now. Uh, Mr. Dhut, uh, we are obviously trying to understand uh, the state of the economy as we're going into the union budget and more specifically uh, how uh, consumers and consumption spend is likely to be. So the one finding from our survey is that expectations are still high uh, despite the fact that a month and a, uh, more than a month has passed uh, there's been uh, uh, the sense of inflationary pressures, there's been a bad monsoon now which is uh, likely to hit us or has already hit us. Uh, people are still expecting a lot from this government and there seems to be a sense of optimism. How are you reading it and what does this mean to you? Right, I think uh, we I think we've lost uh, audio again. There, we seem to be having a little bit of a problem there. I, I'll come back to Mr. Dhut in a moment. Uh, we've got Samiran as well uh, joining us on the line. Uh, Samiran, uh, your sense on what your uh, house view is as you're going into the budget, uh, with in terms of uh, expectations and likely pronouncements. Well, we think that uh, fiscal consolidation will be uh, one of the pillars of the budget and that's why think that deviation from the interim budget target of 4.1% of GDP would be minimal. Uh, to achieve that, our sense is that the finance ministry will announce a more reasonable tax revenue growth target of somewhere in the range of 15 to 17% uh, compared to the 21% which is there in the interim budget. Uh, but at the same time, he does not have too much leeway in increasing the expenditure uh, where it's likely to be a 10 to 12 percent growth in expenditure. So the shortfall is going to be bridged uh, by a very large uh, component of uh, divestment spending. We think that it could be in the range of about 75-80 thousand crore. Uh, overall, beyond the numbers, I think the market is looking for a credible plan of fiscal consolidation going forward as well as measures to improve the tax revenue, measures to reduce the subsidy uh, significantly, particularly on the fuel and fertilizer subsidy. Uh, yes, not everything can be announced in one budget, but the big challenge for this budget is going to be balancing between fiscal consolidation and uh, spurring growth. Uh, that's the fine line that the finance minister will have to walk. Right. So, uh, and, and I guess it also seems that the uh, the solutions would be somewhat traditional, and maybe no magic can or magical moves can be expected. W what's your sense on inflation overall, uh, Samir? I mean, you know, I mean, because we started out by saying that growth and inflation are the two twin challenges uh, in this budget and in, in this really in, in, in this entire period that we are in. Uh, how do you think that could be better addressed, if at all? Uh, yes, uh, we are having very high uh, inflation rates for almost three years now. 
and this is happening uh, regardless of a substantial increase in agricultural production. Uh, food inflation uh, seems to be extremely sticky. So I don't think the budget will have any magic bullets for inflation. Uh, inflation fighting, as we have seen, has started from addressing the issue of the gap between the wholesale price and the retail price, which is often more than 100%. I think that's the inefficiency which needs to be addressed. And for that, you need to, the, what the budget can do is incentivize uh, investment into storage and distribution. Um, but beyond that, one needs to go and change the APMC Act, uh, the issue of Monday taxes, the issue of hoarding. So all those are issues which are probably beyond the scope of the budget but are required to bring down inflation, particularly uh, in the context of deficient rainfall, which we are staring at. Right. Okay. Uh, Yashwant, if I can, you know, just come back to the context of the budget. I mean, one of the questions uh, 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 the poll has asked is, what role does the union budget play in the life of an individual? And do you take decisions anymore keeping uh, the union budget in mind? Uh, and the answer is interesting that 60, uh, I mean, 60 percent plus of respondents say that the union budget has a role to play uh, and uh, so therefore it, people feel that it affects their lives, it affects their consumption or their purchasing power and so on. Well, uh, in comparison to last year or a couple of years, this response has gone up. This is uh, actually surprising for me and uh, it has gone up largely because of the expectation I would, uh, that they feel that the government is going to do something which is going to impact them in a that the inflation is going to come down or the taxation would be relieved, uh, relieved a, a bit further. Uh, in the last few years, this number really going down in a steep way because somehow people were disillusioned and, uh, and feeling that come off me, whatever union government does, it is only going to um, end up in something bad for them, end up in something negative for them, and there is life is going to get uh, uh, in a much worse way. Uh, so, uh, so there, there was a there was a sense of um, sense of this uh, 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 from this union budget and this exercise that uh, nothing really is going to come out of it. And all of this new government in, and all of a sudden this high level of expectation, and all of a sudden we are looking at this big, but they looking at it and feeling something positive can come out of it. And uh, 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 and if it doesn't, then then I must warn that. Uh, the Achetin concept uh, uh, could very well retaliate on as well. Right. Okay. Uh, let me. I think we've uh, managed to get Mr. Venugopal Dhut back. Uh, Mr. Dhut, I was asking you about how you're seeing this environment at this point with all these sort of high expectations. Is it translating into similar expectations and as high aspirations on the consumer side? Uh, well, just a second. There is some difficulty. Mr. Dhut. Yeah. Uh, do you uh, hello? Do you get me? Yeah. Go ahead. We can hear you. Yeah. Consumer are expecting a lot from the budget. The basic is that consumer has been given a promise by the government, this government, new government, that inflation will go down. So consumer want that how the inflation will go down and how the things will improve in time to come because the price rise is very very high. Second thing, consumer wants to know whether there will be uh, at lower income level where will be the increase, increase in tax or what. Because increase in tax, people don't like. Uh, they say that rich people are there. They say you can tax rich people, but don't tax us. Consumer are also investors in mutual fund and share market, so they would like to go. That share market should go. So investment friendly budget should be there. A lot of foreign investment should come. There should be there should be a buoyant in the market. And this buoyancy should continue in future time to come. Consumer would also like to know this is the not, they are just not like this, uh, what I say, uh, short term policy. It has to be a long term policy. Okay, this is the first budget this government is giving. The consumer may not expect a lot. But in a five years plan, consumer now, they are learned people. They want to know also. In five years, how government will eradicate this poverty line, poverty also, and how government will con conquer the rising, high rising prices. These two things consumer will definitely like to know. Further, consumer also would like to have 
the reduction in taxes and also gst implementation and um, what i say fiscal consolidation fiscal uh, by bringing fiscal deficit down and also revenue uh, revenue also in control re revenue to increase and expenditure uh, to, to go down that means revenue deficit should not be there and today it has been mentioned that frbm act will also be there today the frbm act there is no compulsory that uh, they should government should follow it now by this uh, if a new frbm act they, it appears to us that government will put a restriction legally on the government officers and government also to follow the frbm act and that will you're be saying that, you're saying that government should control expenditure which of course uh, will be will be good for the economy just one quick question uh, mr dut what would you expect so that uh, or uh, hope that the budget does so as to improve the uh, the your pricing power and your ability to be uh, from a business point of view more profitable and therefore deliver uh, let's say more products or services to the consumer i would say only two point is very very important required one is the steps to control the inflation in a time bound program and other is that foreigners have lost interest in india there was a india fever there has been a india euphoria across the globe then it reset say 6 years back and slowly slowly it is getting deteriorated and now it has come to the point that foreigners don't believe in indian contract raukula ri to sada chadi aayi prana jaye par varshana na jaye is this the is this india everywhere the contracts are getting broker everywhere the licenses are cancelled everywhere retrospective revision is going on what is happening so foreigners would like to know before they are putting their money here they would like to know what government is going to give the policy statement and if they give a correct policy statement there will be huge foreign money coming in here in india because india is a land of making money people know here a lot of convention is there and that could be utilized everywhere they, nowadays money money is returned is very low across the globe but in india it is possible because, but for the government initiation and if the government brings a confidence on them the foreigners will bring money foreigners will develop the country and once the foreigner money is coming indian industries also will be put the money and lot of money will be coming for industrialization and also for infrastructure activities and lot then all the employment generation problem etc will be solved right mr dut uh, thank you so much for joining us and uh, taking us through both the consumer uh, side as well as the the broader fiscal uh, side of the equation uh, let's as we sum up uh, ambarish what's your uh, you know your two or three key uh, wants and uh, potential disappointment as in what you do not want from ah uh, see i mean uh, like i said i don't expect uh, too many swaps mm. other than possibly a swap for investing in the infrastructure yeah. bonds i think mm. that should be the one to kick start the economy mm -hmm. and i think that is very important mm. other than the non revenue non finance thing what i would look for in uh, in this budget is how will we make doing business in india mm. easier mm. i think that's what most of the businessmen want yeah and that sort of goes to what mr dut was saying absolutely well, okay? absolutely that's something which is important and the other one also where, where i would be a bit concerned i think one of the major planks of this budget mm. is going to be divestment mm -hmm. 70000 crores mm. and again that divestment would be based on how the markets are going to perform correct okay. so that again could be a question mark we never know because mm. even in the past we had upa government mm. announcing divestment but it never happened mm. basically because the markets are not, are not performing mm. here we are going with the presumption mm. that the markets will perform and because of that you will have the divestment mm. Right. So and that that could be a question mark. Yeah, and therefore we are obviously depending on the market yes. holding whether. Uh, Yashwan, last word from you. Uh, you know, uh, what's the kind of takeaway that we should be most concerned about as we uh, go into budget and then the whole season beyond that? We certainly don't expect uh, to perform cardiac surgery on a patient and ask the patient to run uh, for a hundred meter Olympic dash the next day. So uh, uh, no, no, and as far as as you are concerned, I don't have any calls from. from this budget of this government but there are big number of people suffering from high inflation and 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 finding it really difficult to make their ends meet they do have high level of unrealistic expectation and the this government can do is to uh, is to uh, provide some personal taxation relief uh, and uh, and and then try to see if the uh, public has some extra money left with them 
to in order to cope up with the inflation till the time they come up with a long term policy initiatives to not only to contribution but also to take the country on a long term growth curve that's exactly what's coming through the sea water survey exclusively shared uh, on this discussion as well i asked yeah you want to sum up i think people don't want to spend more money yeah. certainly not pay more tax yes. they want things to get a little cheaper but what's encouraging if i read it correct from yashwant's uh, you know survey mm. is that 60% of the people still have very high expectations that means they're still bullish or positive about it mm. which is in actually in contrast to the, the fact that 31% voted for the bjp mm. so if 60% people still i, I hope that correlation is valid mm. and it's not invalid but it still seems that the country still is looking at this whole you know the budget and beyond positively right so we are still living in uh, era of optimism and optimism. hope and that's what is the most important thing to yeah. close our discussion on yeah amrish any last word absolutely i think uh, i mean all of us live on hope yeah and uh, there is a hope that this government will deliver yeah and that's one thing people like telling for that's one that, thing that yeah. the, uh, the union budget 2014 absolutely. shall hopefully uh, point in the right direction that's all we have time for on this uh, special edition of india hangout in partnership with business standard thanks for watching we'll be back shortly